Hey guys, Vass here from Aussie RC Playground and welcome to another episode of RC Pit Stop where I come up with ways to make you watch my videos. Pretty cool, huh? So, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through some of the last upgrades that I'm going to be doing on the rival monster truck. Uh, I don't really have a build series on this or an upgrade series. Um, I've kind of decided to upgrade this as I go along and as funds allow. allow. Uh, so you're going to have to sort of browse the rest of my channel to find some videos or I may actually even put some links in the description for you so you can follow through everything that has happened with the rival monster truck. So today, first thing we're going to be uh, changing over is going to be the body. Now, the body is actually still very usable. It's totally fine. Uh, I've had to cut out the back of it here, as you can see, because uh, it tends to get caught every time you sort of mono the truck. Uh, because the body kind of sits flush with the bumper, um, it, it gets caught up. Uh, it would be nice, I mean, you can see just how there's not a lot of room at the front here, so you can't really move the body forward. Uh, but it would have been nice if they had finished this maybe half an inch shorter, uh, or maybe given us a wheelie bar of some sort. But um, having the body sitting flush with the rear bumper doesn't exactly uh, work uh, for this truck. So I've had to go out and look for another body. What have I chosen? Well, first of all, let me just say that finding bodies for this truck is extremely difficult. Um, I know that there are some guys out there that have changed the bodies on them. Uh, but the body for this thing is 550 millimeters from bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper to bumper. So, uh, trying to find one that's the same size is very, very difficult. I think the only bodies that actually come up to about that length are short cost truck bodies. And uh, short cost truck bodies, although they can fit on, the, on this truck, if you're gonna be doing some hard bashing, you know, short cost truck bodies, they're a little bit thinner than monster truck bodies. And uh, they kind of sit quite wide on this truck. Um, so although they'll fit and they'll, they'll work, um, they're not really suited for the application that I'm going to be putting this truck through anyway. So what I've come up with, I've sort of, I've ordered two bodies. Uh, one was a Proline uh, F-150 Raptor body. The other one is this guy here, which is from J Concepts, and it's the same model truck. So it's an F-150 Raptor. Uh, but as you can see, it sits significantly shorter than the original body. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think this guy uh, is just on 500 millimeters, uh, whilst the stock body is 550 millimeters. Uh, so there's quite a significant difference in length. Having said all that, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, the wheel arches don't quite match up, uh, but you know, you've got to use what you can use. Now, the Proline body that I have actually sits a little bit longer. The wheel arches and everything kind of matches up a little bit more. However, it's too narrow. And what happens is uh, on the side here, the body, and I'll demonstrate this with this body, it actually sits inside the chassis here, right? Inside this plastic tub. So um, you, you basically see the whole side of the chassis. Now, this one actually sits on the outside. So once it actually sits through the holes and I adjust the height of it and everything, it's actually going to be on the outside of the plastic tub. You're still gonna see the plastic, um, but there's not much I can do about that because there is no aftermarket bodies specifically designed for this truck. Um, and I really, really hope that sometime soon, either J Concepts or Proline come up with bodies for the rival monster truck because uh, you, can buy after, uh, you can buy these bodies again, the, the original ones, you can buy them painted and I believe you can also get them in clear and then of course you can uh, you know, do your own little color scheme for them. But um, because they are a little bit too long, um, I want something that's different. And not everybody wants that uh, rival body anyway. Some people want to use a different Ford body or a, a Chevy or whatever other trucks out there. So anyway, this is the body that we're going for. Now, because I am changing bodies, I don't really want to stick with the same wheels and tires. So I've decided that we are going to change wheels and tires on the rival. I may just take the body out of the way and show you guys what we're going for. And it's these guys here, all right? And they are the Big Joe 2. Uh, this is how they come packaged. Uh, this bag is still sealed. I haven't opened this one yet, um, but I have taken two of the tires out to show you what it all looks like. And you can see how aggressive that tread pattern is. Um, I think they actually look a little bit better than the original Big Joes. 
that's just a personal opinion guys uh, whether or not they perform any better or worse um, I really won't know because I haven't had the original ones but uh, I'm pretty sure these will give me a little bit better performance um, out on the uh, BMX track as well as perhaps even on the road uh, they are significantly wider than the stock rival tires now <clears throat> I'll line this up here and uh, I'll put these guys next to it so you can see move that a bit okay so you can see just how much wider they are to the original ones uh, original tires they're about half an inch wider uh, and they sit up about the same height they actually look a bit shorter but they're then really not there's, there's probably millimeters in it as far as height goes so very much looking uh, forward to seeing how these guys are going to hold up um, I don't know if I like these wheels better, better than the Desperado or if I like the Desperado wheels better than these but you know they're black and they'll do the job I guess um, so that's that wheels and tires as well as a body now what else are we going to be upgrading on this truck well as it turns out the last running video that I did on this truck was a speed run okay I've got a um, I think it's a 20 or 19 tooth or 20 tooth pinion gear in here uh, to really try and get some speed out of this guy because it was a bit slow out of the box and uh, as you can see we've got the leopard motor and the hobby wing ESC in here as well so uh, when I was doing the speed run what was happening was I could not steer the truck the truck was going all over the place and uh, it was really quite annoying but it wasn't until I got home that I uh, realized what was actually going on and uh, I'll give you guys a bit of a demonstration here. So have a look at the uh, wheel on the rear. Focus your eyes on this wheel right here, guys. Um, okay, so have a look here. See how I'm moving that up and down and there's actually some dampness there, right? And uh, I believe you'll have the same thing on the front here. You see how slow that sort of comes down and how hard it is for me to push that up. Flip this guy around and have a look at this corner right here. Right here, here. You ready? Can you guys see the difference there? All right, so there is no dampness, which means that there is no oil inside of these shocks, which means that these shocks have leaked out oil, all of the oil. And I think that was due to a previous video before the run video, the speed run video, um, where I was actually at the BMX track and doing backflips with it and all this sort of thing. And I think I pushed the shocks just a little bit too, uh, too much and they ended up leaking. So uh, the oil has exit stage left on the shocks and uh, I've come to the conclusion that I no longer want to use these shocks. I'm not gonna put oil back in them. Um, pretty early on when I had this truck, uh, a fellow uh, subscriber and good friend of the channel, Mud Guy RC. If you guys have not checked out his channel, please have a look at the uh, video description of this video. I will put a link in there for Mud Guy RC. He's a great guy, very helpful, real friendly, quite funny as well. Gets his whole family involved in the channel with his kids and everything, and he's got a little. Um, um, sort of track outside his house. He's very lucky, he's got a great big block, a lot of land so he can do all that sort of stuff. Um, he's recently got a Wraith and he's got uh, a couple of really cool cars as well. So um, go check out Mud Guy RC. Now he, very early on, got himself some MGT 8.0 shocks. Now I recently got these and I also did a uh, sort of like an assembly video how to put these guys together because there were no videos on YouTube that I found um, that really illustrated or showed rather um, how to put these particular shocks together so uh, pretty early on um, I seen these shocks on his rival and uh, I remember I had just installed these and um, I wasn't really keen on spending more money straight away and getting these shocks but since these have failed I haven't been left with no option. I've had to bite the bullet and go out and get myself some better shocks. Now, these apparently are supposed to be really, really good. He's given me some good feedback on them. Uh, so I'm looking forward to them. I've already got two sort of dummy fitted on the front here on this side. I just tested them out just to see how they fit, to see if I needed any spaces or any special screws or anything. They bolt straight on, it's no big deal. So uh, it's all good to go. Uh, but before we actually install the shocks, there is one last upgrade for this truck. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, big drum roll please, RPM A-arms, these big guys right here. Pretty much early on, uh, I had a lot of people telling me that I should upgrade the A-arms on the rival monster truck to RPM. 
And um, sure enough, I went and got myself some RPM A-arms. Now, here's the thing. RPM, their website, uh, you can add these uh, A-arms to your cart. They're actually fairly reasonably priced, but RPM do not ship to Australia. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I tried to buy these directly from RPM and I could not. So I ended up going to eBay and I actually found them. Little secret tip here, guys. I actually found them cheaper than on the RPM website. And I was pretty wrapped with that. Uh, and I went for the black ones. Now, I'm going to say something very quickly here. There is another fellow YouTuber and good friend of this channel, Everyday RC. Everyday RC, his name's Chris. And um, he has got the rival monster truck as well. He's also doing some upgrades on it as we speak. And uh, he got himself some RPM arms, um, I think just before Christmas uh, 2013. We are in at the moment, in case you've sort of time jumped and you don't know what day it is or what year it is. We are in 2013. And uh, the, uh, he got blue ones. Now, I saw the blue ones and I was almost going to buy them. But I decided, you know what, I've got the blue shock towers, the blue shocks, the truck's already got a fair bit of blue on here, do I really want to go and get blue RPM arms? So I opted for the black. Now he has installed his blue ones on the rival, and I've got to say, I think I actually prefer the blue. Now of course I can't turn back time, um, so I'm stuck with the black ones. But uh, you know, it's all good, it keeps it a little bit stealth, which was the original idea that I was going for. But I have to say, the blue ones actually look pretty good, at least from my point of view. I mean, you guys might think differently, but hey, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Um, so that, guys, is pretty much all the upgrades I'm gonna be doing on this truck. Uh, we're gonna change the body, the tires, the shocks, and the A-arms, and I think that will be pretty much it. Now, every day I see, Chris did also change um, the little pillow bowl set up here, which I can't remember the name of them at the moment. Uh, he did have a name for them, uh, the hub carriers or something, I can't quite remember. Um, he did change these to RPM as well, um, and I believe he had to sort of modify them a little bit because he had, uh, the, he bought the Emax ones. Um, now I believe you can get aluminium ones uh, from Asia T's for the inside here. Um, for the MGT, uh, which will, should be a straight bolt-on uh, to replace the plastic ones. Now, I don't know if these plastic ones are gonna give me grief. If they do, then probably uh, I will need to change them out. But, um, you know, the reason why I'm sort of changing the uh, A-arms is because I did some backflips with this truck and I broke one of the A-arms uh, through a bad landing. No fault of the truck, it was just uh, a really bad hard landing and I broke an A-arm, so I wanted to avoid having to spend um, more time on the bench fixing the truck in case things go wrong. And I've opted for the RPM, which should hopefully hold up a lot better. Uh, but that's it, guys. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button before you go. And I'm going to get to work and get this guy going and hopefully give you guys uh, another speed run video so we can find out exactly how fast the truck is. And I may even hit the BMX track again and do some more backflips. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Hey guys, stuffed up already. But before we swap out the shocks, I need to start this video again because um, I forgot the A-arms. I'm gonna bip, I'm gonna bip, no. Yep, I bip, okay. Uh, now, I uh, didn't come up with this idea for the shocks. Uh, the um, a fellow, God damn it, I'm gonna start again. <laughs>